everyone! Today I'm going to read a book called The Biggest Story by Sarah Coyley and Dan Taylor. So let's read. Errol's mum told the best stories. They were always fun and, and, and exciting. So one afternoon, when there was nothing to do, Errol knew a story was just what he needed. Unfortunately, there was a plumbing problem. Sorry, Errol, said his mum. This pipe won't fix itself. Why don't you think of a story instead? Errol blinked, surprised. Then he shook his head. I can't tell a story. I don't know how. Bet you can, said his mum. Just have a go. Out in the garden, Errol tried hard to think of a story. But Star Jump didn't shake out any ideas and stayed upside down for a full minute, only it made his ears hurt. He was too busy thinking he didn't notice that ants didn't notice the ants until Psst said the biggest ant. We c- couldn't help overhearing that you're telling a story. Will it have ants in it? Uh, wow, sure, said Errol. He'd never met a talking ant before. Perhaps other animals could talk. Ahem, said a low voice. A tabby cat was tapping Errol's foot. You know, she said, the best stories have cats in them. With, a, with an awful kerfuffle, all the neighbourhood cats bobbed into the into the fence. Each cat sat at a polite distance from the others. Cats like a bit of space. So what do you say? Asked a turtle t- t- cat. Any room for cats in your story? Ants and cats. Our story was getting better already. Hmm. I will look around the garden. What else does my story need? Stunt! shouted a sheep clipping the gate as she jumped into the garden, showering splinters of a long line of sheep hopped after her. You, you need action, excitement, paragliding. Sheep could do all that stuff. Dan Errol grinned. He had everything he needed to start his story, but just then, the ground trembled and shook. A mob, a mob of meerkats burst through the fence. Elephants, lizards, pan- pandas, monkeys, even a sleek leopard followed. So, the, le- the leopard looked excited. Word in the wildlife park is telling a story. Good news, win! Arrow gave a low whistle. To fit everyone in this story, would have a, to be big. Okay, he said, but that's definitely it. There's no room for anyone else, not even dinosaurs, shouted the sheep. A, a stegosaurus, a gigantic, gigantic T-Rex stood beaming as they sank slowly into the lawn. A new, a new story is always worth, worth traveling do time and space for the T-Rex, the T-Rex explained. Cause we're in the very first story, said the Stegosaurus smugly. Hope this one is good. The audience fell silent, waiting for the story to begin. Errol gulped. He felt as do he had eaten too much pizza and the pizza was made out of bees. Would your story be any good? I got my tea, Errol's mum sat down, but they didn't seem to notice that her chair was covered in monkeys. I'm already for your story. Errol grinned at her. Errol grinned at her. Then he took a deep breath and began. The biggest story. Oh no, T-Rex is in in trouble. She's stuck in the middle of a fiery volcano. Eep! 
those tris those trisky cats have trapped her. You never escape, Dino Breath. Mohahaha. Cat pulled. Cat pulled. Cat. Cat, cat pulled. Ready. But here comes T. T. Rex friends. Hooray! We're coming, T. Rex. Wait, hot lava. Poor T. Rex. Not even her friends can help her now. Bye, boat. Bye, bye, boat. Pop, sizzle, sizzle. Is this the end for T. Rex? Extinction time. Hold up your pesky felines. Wait, is it? No, it can't be. It is. It's the, the superior sheep, golden glider, sky rocket, silver arrow, pow, whoosh, my heroes, foiled again, bad luck, T-Rex is slit saved, Yoo-hoo! yay, it's party time, keep the noise down, some of us are trying to sleep. The end, said Errol. Second stretch. The audience went wild. Animals cheered, roared and stomped. Dinosaurs danced and ants somersaulted. Cats purred louder than lawnmowers and sheep ping-ponged across the lawn. Errol's mum pulled him into a huge hug. That was the best and biggest story I've ever heard, she cried. Much better than any of mine. Tired but happy, Errol, Errol went upstairs for his bath. He felt very proud. He had told his own story and his head was full of ideas for more. A, t- a little later, Errol's boat was sailing past Bob Bubbled Mountain when he heard a tiny tap tapping. A small owl stuck her head through the open window. Did I miss the story? Yup, said Errol. Crossing the dangerous bathwater deeps, the boat began to rock. I'll tell you another, if that's on a stormy sea. I hope you have enjoyed my story. I have written my own story that you can see on my channel. Please subscribe. Bye!